Hey guys, it's Sadie here and today I created this beautiful iridescent negative space mermaid scale nail art. So if you want to see how I did it, then just keep watching. For this design you're going to need your base coat, wifey for lifey, some loose iridescent glitter, a white nail art pen and your favourite top coat. First apply a base coat to all of your nails. Also make sure that your nails are really clean underneath and that you don't have any leftover polish from your last mani on because you're going to see all of that through your negative space design. Next I applied a thin coat of Wifey for Lifey which is just a sheer pink polish that's going to add a healthy tint to your nails. This step is also going to help to disguise the white tip of your nail because we are doing a negative space design you're going to see it through the nail art so it's important that you do a pink tint just to make sure that it doesn't draw any attention away from the nail art on top. Now it's time for the fun part we're going to add the loose glitter onto our nails. This glitter is from In Your Dreams and is in the style Iridescent Mermaid which is perfect for this nail art look. And I'm just applying the glitters by putting a tiny blob of nail polish onto my dotting tool and then dipping it into the glitter so I can pick one up. And then I'm just pressing it into the tacky polish. It's not completely wet, it's just still a little bit sticky because it's not completely dry. And I'm just pushing the glitters in gently, just a few of them on each nail to make sure they're not too overcrowded. If you don't have any loose glitter, you can always use a polish that has iridescent glitters in it or any type of shimmer polish that you like. Once I was happy with the amount of glitter on the nails, I sealed it in with a top coat just to make sure we had a smooth base for the next step. Once that top coat was completely dry, I used my white nail up pen to start creating some mermaid scales on my nails and these are just small letter U's connecting to each other in rows and you just want to make sure that the next row of scales that you do is connecting to the previous one in the centre of each U that you did and this is just going to make it have a more realistic effect and look like the scales are overlapping each other. For this design I decided I wanted to have a separate accent nail so I left the ring finger blank and we'll come back to that later. Try your best to keep all of your scales the same sort of size and shape just because it's going to give you a nicer overall print and it doesn't really matter how big or small the scales are just as long as they're all pretty similar then it's going to give you the same sort of effect in the end. And then on my ring finger I decided I was going to paint a shell so I literally just googled clam shell colouring page and I know that sounds really weird but it's going to give you the most basic line drawing to copy so you're going to have no shading, no detail, it's not a realistic photo, it's literally just an outline so it's so much easier to follow what's going on and paint it on your nail. That's a top tip from me, make sure you tell your friends you heard it here first.
and when I was happy with all of my nail art I just used my top coat to give everything a nice glossy finish. For the top coat on my shell nail I really didn't want it to smudge so I did a technique called floating which is where you dot on quite a bit of top coat over the nail art and then you apply top coat as you normally would. This just means that the bristles on the top coat brush are going to glide over the nail art rather than dragging through it which will smudge it. And that's it, that's all you need to do to get nails fit for Ariel herself. If you like this tutorial remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more and I'll see you in the next one, bye!